All right, what's going on everybody? Alex here with Nickens Landscaping and Excavating. Still gotta get my new hat. Uh, another salt run here. It is Friday, school bus. Uh, Friday, January 5th, 2024. And pop-up storm, it's about 7.45 at night. Uh, Weatherman said it was gonna be too warm. It said it was gonna be about 35 and it was gonna be rain and voila So far we got about a half inch or so on the grass and on the raised surfaces uh, It's just starting to stick and flush up on the concrete. Concrete is actually super slick Hard to tell but anyway concrete starting to slush up Getting slick, so I'm gonna go salt all of our stuff that is still open yet tonight, and then we'll see what the morning brings. But I'm gonna go hit everything right now that is still open. this one in other videos for sure. We've been doing this place for a long time. Uh, we lost it for like a year. I think there was one year where someone else did it, but other than that, this has been ours. So I'm gonna smack this one real quick. I gotta go inside and get a piece of paper signed and we'll be on to the next. This one's tiny. All right guys, just hit this one. I'm gonna hit the little steakhouse here in town on the way here. That one's tiny though. This is our second biggest location. This one is five acres. Uh, it takes about a full V box to salt this one, so I'm gonna have to go back whenever I leave here and fill up. But I gotta go around the back, hit that, and then should be good here. I may come around the front and throw a little on the sidewalks, but that's what we got for this one. You can see it's already working really good. Uh, this is what it looked like over here, whatever I got here. And you can see already, and I've only been here for 30 minutes or so in this front run right here. This main, this is the main drive for all the stores and all the parking over here. So this side's pretty much empty uh, for the rest of tonight. Everything that's open, all the bars are down there in the restaurants. So I hit down there really well. I'll have to come back and touch up a little bit over here, but I want to keep moving and keep things opened up for my other locations the best I can. And then I'll come 
back later uh, when everything shuts down and I'll get these a little bit better. Spend a little bit more time for the stuff that opens in the morning. But you know, like I said, this is our second biggest location this year and this one is five acres. Alright guys, so I talked on the Snow Jobs podcast about how I didn't have too many sidewalks and the ones that I did, I was able to buy the skip So this is an example of a big sidewalk that I have where I can hit this little skip So it's kind of overhang right here. And usually you can kind of see where the water is or where the, the snow is or the ice is. Um, but typically I can just jump up there with the skip steer and everything to the left. And I jump on it and I go this way, the way that I'm driving. Everything to the left is already here later so I'm not too worried about it but yeah when you can salt your sidewalks with your truck that is definitely a plus all right that's it for this one I gotta finish this last little piece of sidewalk here and then I'm done with this property on to the next not a ton to do tonight um, this is number three and I got three or four more that I have to hit tonight. And then the way it's looking, we'll be going out again in the morning. Definitely be going out for another salt run uh, for everything that opens up in the morning that I have not hit yet, but uh, we may be plowing. Supposed to, we got about a half inch on the ground right now and it's only been sticking for about an hour and it's supposed to snow for another six hours, so. We'll see what happens, but I'm on to the next. So I'm here at the exit of this building, getting ready to pull out on the highway. And I'm just gonna show you some of our route density for snow. So that's another one of our locations. And then we're gonna head out of town here. And I'll show you a few more. So this, all these lights back here, that's where we just were. That's where we just hit. That's our big complex here in town. Picked that one up last year and it's been working out really good for us. Okay, so that's two of our locations basically connected to one another. Here's another one where these lights are right here. Uh, that's a big there, so they're not open. So we won't be hitting that one until Monday, I guess, or Sunday night. And we've got multiple other locations behind this here uh, behind that first one that we were just at so even more route density than what I'm showing you but we got this one here I'm gonna try to pick up this one here that's a new place in town uh, this one here is the same connection as McDonald's so that's a brand new building but I think we've got that one this one I don't know for sure on that one yet but two potentials out of all those I just showed you but the rest of them are ours and uh, yeah works out really good for us just in town here we've got uh, 10 or 11 locations and then in the small surrounding towns uh, we've got some more tight route density similar to what we got there so works out really really good for us and that is how with such a small crew we're able to knock out 31 properties per storm. All right, guys, I'm gonna focus on the road here. Looks like it's pretty bad.
Well, we had quite the uh, change of events. Change of the weather. We got a good two inches on the ground. It's about time to go plowing. It's still snowing like a banshee, and we still got about three or four hours of this. So we gotta go back to the shop. Look the plow up. I've been salting like a maniac. Uh, salting everything I can, making all the money I can, but it's simply just too thick. I'm gonna have to go get the plow and get the plowing. I'm gonna grab the plow. I'm also gonna fill up the spreader and we're gonna start pushing, but there's a good two inches on the ground and what they say is still coming. There's gonna be at least three, maybe four by the time this is said and done. So uh, it's snowing real hard right now. And uh, yeah, this is kind of just crazy because we are, I mean, we're prepared, everything's ready, but this was not even on the radar whatsoever. There was, they've been talking all week about snow, Saturday potentially, and then they've been talking up next Monday, Tuesday. Never once was Friday mentioned, and here we are. And it would not surprise me one bit if this ends up being the biggest storm out of all of it. But here we go, nothing to do uh, but to just get it done. It's all we can do. It's our only option. You gotta make these people happy. You gotta give them what they're paying for. They signed a contract for a reason, so gotta fulfill it. All right, I'll catch up with you guys at the shop. We'll get these plows on and... All right, here's the fleet for the 2023-2024 season. Of this Got my pickup with the straight blade between 3500 with the BXT and the 5500 with the EXT. Let's go plow some snow.
right, we got the first blown hydraulic line of the night. And not looking good. Don't know if I have it. I have this boss repair kit. I don't know. I don't know.
try that. The Dobbs of snow plowing. Got him fixed up. Back on the road. He was only here about 10 minutes. Problem is, he was 15 minutes away. So apparently I did not turn on the mic here, uh, but what I'm rambling on about is HOA contracts. This is our first one. Never done too much with driveways as far as snow removal goes. Uh, pretty much always been strictly commercial, but uh, this opportunity came about and I thought it was a good one. It's really close to a lot of our other accounts, so it just made sense. But basically what it is is 17 residential driveways. We've got to do the sidewalk from the driveway to the front door, and we've also got to do the city sidewalk in front of all of these uh, complexes here. So there's basically nine driveways on the right side of the road and eight driveways on the left side of the road. Alright guys, that's all we got for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought. Give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. I've got to get caught up on some sleep. I'm exhausted and I think we've got some more snow coming. So they're saying next week there's a few chances and they're making some crazy predictions as far as inches. Uh, we're talking feet. So we'll see what happens, but I'm not going to get my hopes up too much, but it definitely looks like we'll be doing some snow work next week. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to consider subscribing and you can hit that little bell, which will notify you every time we post a video and that lets us know we're doing our job and that lets you know whenever we post more videos like this. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one.